from Jacksonville, Florida to Oxford, Mississippi may not have been the route that three-star defensive end Marquise Haynes expected to take on his way to Division I football, but you can bet he'll make the most of it. Hi, I'm Stephen Willis, and this is Film Study on Extra Point Studios. In this episode, we're going to let Ole Miss fans know why they should be excited about this prospect. Corey Burton, a Tennessee high school football coach, lets us know this kid is more than he appears. Thanks, Steve. Marquise Haynes hails originally from Jacksonville, Florida, where he started at University Christian High School. As a stand-up outside linebacker and defensive end, he was a very dangerous player on the edge. He's a very dynamic athlete who brings speed and quickness to the table. Offensive linemen often struggled to block him because it seemed rare that they could even get a hand on him. In the event that they did get a hand on him, his ability to use his quick hands and rip off the block made him virtually unblockable and he often made a play in the backfield or would severely disrupt things. He's the kind of athlete that has a knack for the football, thus he never came off the field. If he wasn't sacking the quarterback, he was catching passes at tight end or blocking punts on special teams. UNC was enamored by his overwhelming athleticism. However, he ended up at Fork Union Military Academy. At Fork Union, Haynes grew to 6'3", gained 10 pounds, and increased his tenacity. In high school, he did a great job of tackling and finishing tackles, but at Fork Union, Haynes punishes ball carriers. He still displays a great ability to read flow, get off the block, and pursue. However, this season, he does bring a little extra attitude. With this year in prep school, he's gained more strength and is now able to run through offensive linemen to get to the quarterback. Just ask this poor right tackle who gets thrown to the ground. Mentally, it seems that they've improved his ability to read run, which is something that appeared to be an area improvement out of high school. Ole Miss is getting a defensive lineman that has tremendous athletic ability that will display a nasty streak. He's becoming a more complete player and look for him to compete at least for time as a pass rusher. Thanks, Corey. Now you see the major upside that this kid has as a player. But how does he fit the Rebels' needs? RebelGrove.com's Neil McCready stopped by to let us know. Marquise Haynes is awfully important to Ole Miss's recruiting class for a number of reasons. First and foremost, he's an impact defensive end pass rusher at a position of great need for the Rebels. Ole Miss saw just how thin it was at defensive end last season when it lost C.J. Johnson for the rest of the year. He'll end up getting a medical red shirt. But those last eight or nine games of the Rebel season, they saw just how desperately they needed a presence off the edge. That's what Haynes does well. North Carolina recruited him out of high school. He was one of the more athletic players in the state. Couldn't get in academically. He was moved to Hargrave in Virginia. Still couldn't get in academically. North Carolina had some contacts with the Ole Miss staff. They didn't want him in the ACC. He kind of fell into Ole Miss's lap. Ole Miss took the reins, got him in. Awfully important presence for them. He comes in in January. He'll be a, a part of the Ole Miss uh, spring. They really need him to shine. If he does, along with getting C.J. Johnson back and uh, Carlos Thompson, uh, Channing Ward, that kind of thing, they have a chance to get much deeper at a position of need. Hard to win in the SEC when you can't contain off the end and when you can't get to the quarterback on third and long. Ole Miss has been able to survive it the last couple of years, but if you want to win big in this league, you've got to get to the quarterback and change the game. Ole Miss believes Marquise Haynes can do that. Thanks, Neil. So what does this mean for 2014? I think he'll compete for situational minutes, and this spring is really crucial for that happening. I'll put it to you like this. If a quarterback has five seconds to throw in this league, he's going to pick you apart. A rush in can cut that in half. What does that mean? It means bad decisions by the quarterback. It means more turnovers. It means more third down spots. Will he get on the field? It's possible. But to be honest, the depth chart there is pretty stacked. You have C.J. Johnson, who if healthy, has that on lockdown. You have Carlos Thompson, who before his injury, the light was kind of coming on for. So he has to battle with that. For Corey Burton and Neil McCready, I'm Stephen Willis, and this has been an Extra Point Studios film study.